the Sports Ball, everyone. Uh, if you're joining us for the first time via Barbara the Chicken, you're at the right place. This is Sports Ball <laughs> here on RoosterTeeth.com. I'm uh, Barbara the Chicken. This is Barbara yes. the Chicken. Uh, yes, uh, I'm your host, Tyler Coe. Welcome to another edition of Sports Ball. Um, I am joined by... I'm Jack Patillo. And? I'm actually Jordan Swears, not Barbara the Chicken. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. Yes, uh, thank you, Jordan, for joining us. Very yeah, excited thanks for to having have you on. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, and of course, we are joined Fresh by uh, boys in the booth or corner, whatever we like to call them. Uh, I don't Cole. remember which one it is. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. Boys in the booth, sure. Sidecar boys? boys? No, yeah, boys on the side. side right? Boys on the side. Yeah, that's, yeah, what, it that's yeah. what it was. Okay, yeah, we it's got like Cole and Nick over there checking group. out everything. Uh, and of course, you can always call and text the show right here at this number. It's going to show up. And you can also tweet. Jack's over here. He's I'm on the tweeters. tweeters. Yep, so is Cole. Um, well, welcome, everyone. If this is your first time joining Sports Ball, we talk about sports. What? That's how that happens. That That's seems, what we do. That seems ludicrous. It is, yeah. That seems Did, like um, talking I, about sports on I the was, internet. Sports, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> yes, uh, so yeah, sports. That's what we're going to be talking about. It was, a once again, an amazing weekend of NFL playoffs. There were some really good basketball games going on uh, last night. There's some good basketball games well, there going were, there on. Were, there were games. Of. I don't know if good there's for games. all of them. There, there was a lot of hype going yeah. into like Cleveland taking on Golden State, yeah, rematch Golden State, NBA Finals. Golden Cleveland. We'll Ooh. take your word for it. Anybody I catch it? I don't watch basketball. <laughs> 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 I thought Jordan watched basketball Sports. the entire year. Like I'd always, Sports. I'd always come up to Jordan, like walking in the hallway, be like, "Yeah, did you catch a game last night?" And he'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. what the game? Yeah, 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 what? yeah, yeah." And I just, I just had it in my mind. See that ludicrous yeah, display last night? He told me, "Yeah, you know, we're gonna talk about basketball." And I was like, "Cool. Well, why are you having me on?" <laughs> <laughs> he thought I was the basketball guy. I haven't watched basketball in so long. I'm pretty, you know, but. You know, it it stays the same. I'm pretty sure Lakers are still the best team. <laughs> Clearly, Kobe, yep, yep, Kobe's right. still hitting threes. Yep, mm -hmm. Kobe's. Mm -hmm. Yep, career um, year. Warriors suck still. Yep, yep. Golden um, State not good. And LeBron James is still with Cleveland, right? There yes. he is. Never that, left. He got one. If you want any uh, like uh, something to show you like how the game was last night, like like Golden State beat the shit out of them. It was like 132 to. 90 something like yeah, they won was, my own, like 40 points. It was I ridiculous. Think. It was here's yeesh. here's basically a summary, Jordan, of last night's game. Um, if you see this video, oh. one, guy's, I was making, one guy's asleep, uh, and then that guy, oh, there, you oh. go. there you go, dig pick in. a winner, oh. pick out a winner. Poor Cleveland, he oh didn't, man, he that guy is out. They oh, got wristbands girl. too. That means they're like VIPs yeah. or something. No, like, I you spend that kind of money to go to the game. You don't you can't fall asleep. asleep. You can't fall asleep. I can game. understand the guy that's picking his nose. Like that guy, he, he's a putz, but that's fine. Yeah, yeah. He's but looking I, for yeah. the money he wasted. I guess so. Yeah. But like, how do you how do you fall asleep at a basketball game? Well, you got to be on TV, so that's one thing that's pretty special. Yeah, so. there you go. So uh, that was that game. Uh, there was a really good game. Uh, Lob City taken on Houston. That game was great. I went to sleep in the fourth quarter because I thought the game was going to be over. JJ Redick had like eight three pointers nice. in the uh, um, like it was like the first half. He was on fire. They actually come back. Houston does, and they go to overtime. Don't Ooh. you hate that when you like miss a game? Like you go to sleep thinking like, oh yeah, it's done. Yeah, like, yeah nothing yeah. else is going to happen. Uh, I left that uh, Saturday night uh, playoff <laughs> game thinking this game's boring. Oh, that's right. You oh, guys are down Cardinals, for it. Cardinals okay. and Packers. Yeah. Well, it's funny you, 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 you mentioned that, Jordan, because we're probably going to talk about those. Uh, we're going to talk about the NFL playoffs. We're going to talk about Barbara, our psychic chicken. Uh, she might be making an appearance on the show today. Oh, really? Um, so we're going to have to talk here? about that. Uh, we have to talk about some NFL teams maybe moving to different cities and whether yeah. or not we agree with that. I'm a I'm a Rams fan now too because <laughs> yes, I'm, from, I'm from Los Angeles. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you it got just your team happened back, one man. day. Like I woke up, I was like, I like the Rams. Now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Suddenly, it's like I, I mean, I love the Titans when Vince was there. It was yeah, great. It was right? like, oh, what do you know? I'm a Tennessee <laughs> fan. I'll be damned. Uh, we also are going to answer some fan mail that you guys have sent to us. So Ooh. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, fan mail. Fan mail. Um, but we wanted to get to this big story. This is a sport that we don't usually talk about, but this story is kind of um, um, sweeping the world oh, right man. now. Is it hockey? It's it's not hockey. <laughs> 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 Um, it is uh, a story that's going down in the world of tennis. Tennis is in trouble right now, Jack. Have you yeah, heard about this yeah. story? Yeah, I heard some, uh, some shenanigans are going on between some people in the tennis world. Basically, it's like wide-scale point shaving and match fixing in the world of tennis. That's been going on since, I guess, well, they say 2007, but you know it's like way before that. Yeah, yeah. And I guess absolutely. that's the time when they kind of figured yeah, that whole thing they, out. Yeah, that's when they found out about it and yeah. they kept it quiet for yeah. so like this seven more years. Yeah, yeah, this like, gigantic <laughs> story is coming down that there's – Point shaving in professional sports. <gasps> oh my God, that's like when you do the where's, close up and like, Pete Rose shit. like, yeah, him. like, yeah, this isn't that big of a shocker, but it is kind of, it's interesting though, because it's like a lot of tennis players involved in this thing. Like, yeah, like, Novak Djokovic was offered money to. 
to lose a first round match. Yeah, he's after like two hundred thousand dollars to fix, fix a match. Like that's pretty insane. But he's Novak Djokovic. He's not going to do that. Yeah, he's not, <laughs> he he's can just, win the tournament like, oh, and make good. more money. He takes balls to go yeah. up to like, hey, you're one of the best players yeah. on the planet. I want you to I want you to fail intentionally <laughs> yeah. for yeah. me. I'll give you some cash, but I want you to fail. And it's he, funny that the story comes out like days before when I guess actually right now we're uh, uh, the Australian Open is is starting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right now going on right now, and you have all these players kind of addressing this like Federer and Nadal and uh, Serena Williams are talking about this. You know, kind of like you said, like they're not shaving. Like yeah. they're not... They can't fixing. be the ones. It's the, it's the Bruce Willis and Pulp Fiction type people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the middle of the road, kind yeah. of like over the hill players. We're yeah. like, ah, I got really nothing else to lose. Totally. The, uh, the Paul Bettany's and Wimbledon kind of <laughs> point shavers. And it's a really big um, story. So we kind of want to hear what you guys have to say about it. If you are a big tennis fan um, out there, like uh, a lot of the stuff in the story, I mean, it seems run of the mill for uh, a scandal like there's gambling syndicates in Russia and Italy. Like, oh yeah, who would have thought of that? It seems yeah. about right. Yeah. <laughs> that made well, hundreds t- of thousands of pounds. Tennis of always seems like that's on these things. It seems kind of not, not a smug sport, but it seems like you know it's kind of the the rich people sport. Yeah, it's, it's like highbrow. Yeah, let's go to the tennis courts behind the mansion and play some you know <laughs> play a few rounds. I'll get Fluffy to come along with us. You know, <laughs> it seems like that's the kind of sport tennis is, and it's odd that it would come down that there would be this kind of you know stuff behind it. But I guess people have money there, so they want to see stuff happen. Well, I, I don't well, know. People will bet on anything. That's true. I mean, it's insane what people they'll bet on high school sports. You'll bet on like bet kids on pageants. Flips. What bet on coin national flips. anthems? No, yeah. you bet on anything. You can. It, it is kind of weird that like this is the same sport that like was birthed out of like the shuttlecock <laughs> and like the what is it? It's the what is the little thingy? Is it badminton? Nope. The, Bat- yeah, badminton. You talking about badminton? What came first, the tennis or the badminton? I don't know. Is it shuttlecock or the get tennis on ball? that coal? Probably the ball. The shuttlecock's <laughs> a little more complex of a. It, you know, a a shape, shuttlecock a shape, is, yeah. it is a very interesting is there a uh, good thing. <laughs> <laughs> just an evil one. Yes. <laughs> so, anyways, if you guys are interested in that, just let us know. I mean, it's not the most surprising thing, but I mean, when you're talking about uh, two hundred thousand dollars being thrown to like high level athletes, like that is pretty shocking, right there. Like, yeah, you feel like we would have heard a little bit more about this, but we'll see how this all plays out. Um, Real uh-huh. quick, Julie Nelson's on uh, on Twitter. Julie Nelson fifty five said advice from Jack P to get on TV at a sporting event. Just go to sleep. That's not a bad idea. I yeah. wonder if we can get fans. Some of our fans, if you're wearing a shirt that like one of the Rooster Teeth shirts, any Rooster Teeth shirt, and you manage to go to like an NBA game or something like that, pretend to be asleep. And if you get on TV and you can prove it. We'll send you something. How about that? There you go. Mission. Hey, I'm there challenging we go. That's you. That's awesome. Challenging you. It's it's better than fans. having one of those dumb skits that they obviously coordinate before oh, like, yeah, yeah. on camera, where it's like the flex cam and the guy like is flexing and there's a girl behind him. That's even yeah, yeah. Who's yeah. even like more buff? Yeah. Or like and then he's just like, oh, it's like that. Yeah. Or they're raking happen. the field and it's like the dance cam comes on the guy raking the yeah. field and it's like, oh, and he suddenly knows how to dance and has yeah. a whole routine. It's like, <laughs> come on, yeah, come on. Oh, uh, we got some texts coming in from you guys. Uh, you guys are always great with the text. Uh, this one says, my dad went to the Cavs game with a client and the client almost left his firm based <laughs> on how bad the game was. Oh boy. I mean, oh. geez, it really was that bad. Well, I mean, you're, you're always expecting like when you get a rematch, and it's these are the same two teams. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so what oh, God, plus, the Warriors just mopped the floor with now, them. Now what happened? I didn't see the game. Was it something like the like the Warriors just had it the whole way? Here's or was what it, it is. Like, it's called did it's, someone get hurt. It's I called mean, Kevin Love doesn't know how to defend, okay. especially a pick and roll, <laughs> and Steph Curry is just like on another level right now. Yeah, yeah. Like you just can't stop the guy. It was yeah. it was embarrassing to watch. Yeah, he's the, he's the he's the so he sank three in a row. Now he's on fire. He's got unlimited unlimited yeah. turbo, right? He's, like he's, he's he does that yeah. thing where he like jumps into the rafter and comes back down and dunks on the glass. Yeah. And dunks it exactly. Yeah. And Shaq comes out. Uh, it, it was on a uh, this one says, been a tennis fan my whole life. Such a disappointing story. This is arguably the best era with the best players in the history of the game. To have that tarnished by shitty cheaters is a damn shame. Yeah, we got, I mean, uh, You could just replace that with cycling. It's yeah, like or, the same uh, thing. Got, uh, yeah. which is, that's <laughs> another one kind of like that. It's like cycling. Who watches cycling? Uh, Andre Dravinsky says, uh, tennis scandal is pretty nasty. Potentially impl- implicates Roger Federer, who's one of the major ones. So Federer now, is involved with that, now, too. Federer mm. came out, and he was one of the guys that said, like, you know, this is deplorable. Like, the, I can't believe they'd be doing this. Oh, like Roger Clark. Wow, yeah. Oh, like Lance Armstrong? Lance Armstrong? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Like how Peyton dare they Manning? do this? Hey. The, they all hey. cheat. Think of these allegations Jesus. that Peyton Manning. Well, you guys fans of Lance steroids. over there? Yeah. We're, no, Peyton. Oh, Peyton Manning. They're, they're all oh, happy yeah. about Peyton Manning. People are Al Jazeera, whatever network. Hey, you're not uh, in America anymore. <laughs> What didn't really work out? No, seriously, their their network got shut down. Oh, that's good. What does that have to shut do down the press? Manning? No, it's because they were the <laughs> ones that had they did the wa- they did the doc. Oh, they were okay. the one that did that. See, not a legitimate news source, not a real, <laughs> yeah. not real. 
<laughs> All right. Shame on you guys. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, um, you know, um, check this out. Uh oh. You see this? Milford. What is that? That is that. What city is that? And team. Well, I don't want people reference. to get confused with this being SMU. Okay? No, that's not. I'm not Craig James, and I don't kill hookers. Oh. Uh, this is <laughs> from the movie Laser Team. Good, good uh, there we go. It's from the yeah. It's from Laser Team. Yeah. The that's, Milford Mustangs. Yeah, that's the shirt that Gavin wears, yes, I think, right? Yes, and this is the uh, shirt that you're uh, going to be able to wear starting tomorrow, Ooh. Uh, which is really exciting. Um, and by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's in Laser Team the Movie, people. Go see oh. Laser Team the Movie. That's, that's what that's okay. Like. Not the book, the movie. Laser Team the Movie. Uh, yeah, Laser I read Team the, the book. I hope it stacks up. If you go to LaserTeamTheMovie.com, you can get a screening in your area, or you can you know join one or add more. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to one here in Austin, so I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't fully explored that website, but um, I know if you want to see the movie, go to LazyTeamTheMovie.com. Absolutely, and we have so Z. much gear coming out. It's going to be awesome. You get this great shirt. This is really cool to wear. Uh, I think it's pretty classic. And then, of course, well, I got this koozie Ooh, right here, koozies. which is really awesome. Whoa. Got that. And then we, of course, got, got the logo on the back. That's really, really cool. You'll understand what that um, means after you see the movie. Yes, you will, after you see the movie, which... You know, it's funny. It, it would almost be the reverse. If it got nominated for a Golden Globe, they'd probably put it as a drama instead of a comedy. Kind yeah, of like The Martian. Probably. Yeah, The Martian going as a comedy. That laugh riot, The Martian. <laughs> <laughs> it was lighthearted. It had a happy ending. And it, well, it, it's strict. Uh, spoiler alert. Spoilers. Spoilers. Spoiler alert. Spoilers. God damn, we have Well, I mean, that. happy if you like watching people die. I mean, that's exactly. basically happy. If you hate Matt Damon, <laughs> so, you want to go see this yeah. movie because the ending is amazing. <laughs> Read the book, it's better. Exactly. I agree with Jordan on that. The Wait for the better. sequel. <laughs> the Jupiterian His dead yeah. still on the planet. The Plutonian. <laughs> yeah, that one. Oh, uh, okay. See, I love it. Uh, text line, a uh, few more people uh, getting their thoughts in. Um, this one says, I watch cycling dicks. <laughs> <laughs> we have a tweet from Jake Toft. It says, Curry got some of Michael Jordan's special stuff from the end of Space Jam. Ah, <laughs> he did. He there did. we go. Uh, seriously, every shot he puts up, and like his game is on another level now. Like it's not just him shooting threes. He scores at will from anywhere on the court. Anyways. Can he make well, his arms stretch really long and slam <laughs> dunk from half court? <laughs> like the Dalsum thing. You know they're coming out with Space Jam too, and it's going to be with LeBron. Is oh it? Is gosh. it actually going to be LeBron? It's got to be LeBron. Who else why, could it why, be? Well, first of all, why would they make Space Jam two? Well, I agree with you on they that. They already there's, did make Space Jam two. It's called Thunderstruck with Kevin, Kevin Durant. Durant. <laughs> 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 it was so bad. Oh, uh, you'd have to make it, and Bill Murray would have to be in it again. I don't know if he could be though. Yeah, of course, Bill Murray could. Just like make it, make it a golf thing instead of a you know a basketball <laughs> thing. <laughs> Bill Murray would be fine. I'm like whatever. I think we he was need, actually playing golf in the first movie we too. We need this generation's Bill Murray to show up randomly. Who is this, who is this generation's Bill Murray? I don't know. No. What do you guys like Bradley think? Cooper, maybe? Nah. God no. I don't know. Someone like someone who just appears in tons of different roles. <laughs> Seth Rogen. Seth, <laughs> Seth Rogen. Uh, yeah. Zach Galifianakis. Yeah, Zach. I checked that over. Oh Rogen. man, that'd be really weird. Either way, yeah. the future's bleak uh, <laughs> when it comes to that. All right, do you guys want to talk about some NFL playoffs? Do we yeah. want to talk about some NFL playoffs? Let's talk about some playoffs. Okay, we got to talk about the playoffs because this weekend, once again, I didn't think it was going to get any better. Oh my God. Yeah. It was ten times better there than the wild card round. Games. Holy shit. Did I, I mean, it was unbelievable. So we're going to go through these games, and um, as we go through them, we have to let you know like how our chicken did, because what we did is we, I, I got this buddy, lives downtown, and he's got this psychic chi chicken, and I got this chicken. <laughs> wait, wait, did he advertise this as a psychic chicken? Yeah, it's a psychic chicken. How much and did he pay him lives for this downtown chicken? with this chicken? Well, it's not a she, it's so a he. There, or, or her. Barbara. It's uh -huh. a her, it's Barbara. Barbara right. the chicken, she's back there. Um, and so she poops on losers. <laughs> As you do, like you shit on someone, you know. Yeah, yeah, you poop on, on losers. You poop Carson on Palmer. losers. So yeah, so where did this? Where did Barbara come from? So she's she lives here in Austin. Um, the uh, Sheila is her owner. Mm -hmm. Ah, so it's not even a dude. It's Sheila. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but I knew the dude who got me in touch with Sheila. I found the chicken. Anyways, got the psychic chicken here. Wait, there's and then, like way too much backstory. Right. On this. So anyways, okay. this chicken was picking the uh, games this weekend, and so we wanted to see how she did. So first game out of the gate. We had Patriots and Chiefs. Did you guys watch that game? I did, unfortunately. Yeah, that game was not a contest. Once yeah, yeah, the Patriots yeah. dominated that one. They didn't even really look that good, in no. my opinion. Like, yeah, that's what Edelman frustrates me the Edelman was dropping most. balls. Like they, Brady didn't look that sharp, and they still. You got Edelman back though, right? They got you got Edelman back. Gronk was well. Gronk was just amazing. Yeah, yeah. he's going to go down as the, the greatest Patriots tight end ever. Patriots have not lost a game that Edelman has started. Patriots have not lost a game in Edelman's yeah. start. That he, sounds about right. And he, he came mm. on strong like in the in the later half of the game, but I mean he was dropping passes, but still yeah. like it, well, he has that problem. He yeah, yeah, his his foot was healed, but his hands were still garbage. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yes, uh, but that game was like no contest. Even though the Chiefs like tried to make a game of it at the end, uh, um, 
uh, Andy Reid took like five fucking hours. Yeah, yeah. What on the hell? one drive, yeah, they had literally that? like an eight-minute drive yeah. to go down. They, they, yeah, they, no, they scored a no touchdown, sense of but urgency they, they killed whatsoever. it. Yeah. yeah, no sense of urgency. They're just like walking up to the line. No timeouts left. Like you got to fucking go. Yeah. And, like everybody, just like, are you kidding me? Like this, is the end of your season. You got to move the ball and get downfield quick. And there's yeah. you got to. No, they didn't really care. Guys, so that's, 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 I, I made a list. Season. All season, they've taken the conservative, safe route. Yeah. Of like, oh, we should be going for a touchdown here. Eh, let's kick a field goal. <laughs> yeah, it, it was pretty bad. I yeah. made a list of things that are faster than the Chiefs' last drive. <laughs> <laughs> so number one, turtles. Oh, nice. <laughs> number two, glaciers moving uphill. <laughs> number three, upside down turtles. <laughs> <laughs> number four, the revenant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> number five, dead turtles. Oh. <laughs> All faster than that last drive. Nice. Welcome to sports ball. Dude. That was great. <laughs> <Just> came prepared. <laughs> oh, you nailed it. You're absolutely right. All those things are. It was it was embarrassingly bad. Like you got mad. Like even if you weren't a Chiefs fan, you're looking at the TV saying, "How can you be this yeah. inept?" Yeah. I mean, like, I was rooting for the Patriots and still watching. It's like, what is happening here? Like, make make an effort, guys. It was I brutal. Have, I have two favorite teams. Number one is the Colts. Colts. The Rams. Number two. Whoever's playing the Patriots, <laughs> the Chiefs really let me down as my favorite team. Well, you, you couldn't put a lot of stock in them. You knew that probably wasn't going to work out for you. No, I'm delusional. I thought they were really going <laughs> to thought they were gonna mop the floor with them. Well, you yep. know who didn't? Barbara. <laughs> Barbara shit on Andy Reid because she knew that the Chiefs were going to lose. So after this game, Barbara was 1-0. and oh. I was there like, she was right, 1-0. Here we go. So we go on to the next game. Let's go to Carolina, Seattle. Yep. All right. Huge game. This is a rematch from last year, except like kind of reverse the roles a little bit. Yeah, a little and bit. Panthers have tried to have an undefeated season, lost that one. Unbelievable team. Probably the most complete team in football as far as uh, they have the MVP on their team. They've mm -hmm. got a great running back. they got decent enough wide receivers. they got Greg Olson. they got a great defense, if not one of the best, outside of the Broncos. Great corner. Great corners and Josh Norman. Uh, and they're the healthiest team. Yeah. That's probably the biggest key. Out of every single team, they are probably the healthiest. Yeah, yeah. So they came out and they hit Seattle in the face to start this one. Yeah, they didn't even need to play oh the second God. half. No, yeah. this game was 31 and nothing at halftime. It was brutal. I mean, I when's thought, the last time you've seen a playoff game like that in the dude, first half? I thought this, I thought Seattle was gonna make a run, but man, they just got shut down. Like Seattle, like they, you know, they had it started strong out week and then came back strong. It's like, oh, now you're getting hot right yeah. at the right time. And then they just came to this game and just like just tripped over themselves. Well, they, they really struggled last week against the Vikings. Yeah. Um, so I wasn't really sure what to expect out of them um yeah and they didn't do anything like <laughs> yeah. russell wilson like throwing that pick six on their first possession was just like yeah I it's like uh -oh. might have sealed it. oh that was brutal yeah, yeah panthers go right down the field well jonathan stewart ran for like 70 yards to get down to like the yeah. five and they punch it in and then things you don't want to do is throw interceptions to luke keekley because he will run <laughs> them back for touchdowns and then that's what happens uh but then they like made a game of it and then they come back all the way but it just falls short yeah you kind of figured it would i mean would that have not been the most Epic comeback outside of Bills, Houston back in '93 yeah. in the playoffs. Like yeah, that yeah. would have been unbelievable. That would have just cemented like Russell Wilson and the Seahawks as probably one of the best teams of this era. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. The way like not only did they because they win every way possible. Yeah, you know? and they shut down Cam and company, which, I mean... You I feel could like they weren't really trying. Yeah, exactly. You <laughs> could probably say the same thing as they had the same amount of urgency that Kansas City did on that last drive <laughs> yeah. to, like, do anything in the third or fourth quarters. Yeah. Cam Newton himself said that they were too conservative. And, <laughs> and I think there was, there was a clip, too, where he had to call a timeout, and he's going over to the sideline, and the mic picks him up, he takes off his helmet, and he's like, I can't keep my fucking cool <laughs> when the clock's running down or something. Like, they, they were like, oh, boy. Why do they always yeah. do that? Why do those TV guys always do that? I mean, I don't think we would ever do that here in the broadcast booth. It's like, don't, why would you know, why would yeah. you go down this to that is, guy at that time? Yeah, yeah. You think he, he's going to say, oh, darn, yeah. shucks, yeah. guys. Gee whiz, Gee I wish we were playing better games. <laughs> yeah, he's through a pick six. Let's go right to him. Get the, get the parabolic pointed right at him. <laughs> it's no, no, bad so idea. Anyways, all right, so... Carolina's going to win that game. They're going to advance on. All right, so now Barbara's 2-0, and and I'm Barbara getting kind of excited. 2-0. and oh. I'm like, my chicken's doing good, y'all. <laughs> That's a good That's chicken. That's good. That's a good chicken That's not the right first there. time you've said that in your life, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, you he, you I, seem like the kind of guy who's gone to a cockfight at some point in his life, right? <laughs> like throwing some money into a pen. Oh, I just say that whenever I go to Raising Cane's. That's a good chicken. <laughs> <laughs> We should get them on as a sponsor. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was trying to come up with some like dirty cockfighting joke. Oh, okay. It's like, no, it's just no, no. when I go to the bathroom with Joel, but no, it's like, no, it's uh, like, like yeah. Jordan nailed it. <laughs> <laughs>
It's good chicken. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. It's really good chicken. <laughs> All right, so Barbara's 2-0. I'm excited. Uh, we got pretty much the favorites heading into those championship games. Patriots, Carolina, no big shockers right there. Then comes this game. This is the game right here. Big game. This is, this the, is game. the game. The this game, one, the game I didn't watch. The game you didn't watch. <laughs> I talked to you earlier. I'm like, I'm so excited to talk about this game with you, Jordan. I'm glad I didn't see it. Anyway, it doesn't matter because we're going to show you what happened during the game. And anybody else out there, if you didn't see what happened, we're going to explain it. All right. That's what we're going to do. Let's, let's break it down. Let's explain Arizona, some Green Bay, Carson Palmer. He's only been to the playoffs a few times. Aaron Rodgers, he's been in the playoffs a lot of times. A lot and of he's times. He's really good. Packers still kind of suck, though, coming in this game. Uh, Cardinals haven't really played in a while. A lot of people talk about that. When you haven't been playing like the wild card teams, you come out a little rusty. That's what this game was for four, four quarters. It was bullshit. It was awful. It was terrible. It was so bad that Bullshit. Cole and Daniel Fabello and I, we went to a bar to go get drunk because it was just an awful game. It yeah. was a horrible game. Yeah, yeah. Both ways it was terrible. But near the end of the game, uh, the Cardinals would go up a score. They'd okay. make it 20 to 13. All right, Jordan? Mm -hmm. All right, that's so a seven-point difference. That's a seven-point difference. A Under the two-minute warning, there's about a minute 55 left in this game. So it's looking pretty good for Arizona, except Aaron Rodgers on the other side. So Aaron Rodgers is going to get the ball. Packers are going to get the ball. It's going to be a terrible possession right out of the gate. They're mm -hmm. going to go incompletion, sack, incompletion. Uh -oh. They're going to be backed up pretty much in their own end zone. But then Rodgers does this on fourth and 20. Fourth and 20. Here we go. In his own end zone. Oh, he's scrambling. And chucks it from the end zone line. That's a four, That's 45 yards. Oh, no, 55 yards in the air. You should cut both of those defensive backs right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you it's say that. It's fourth and 20. You, you might need them later. By the way, that is Jeff Janis. That is not Jordy Nelson. No. Uh, Jeff Janis, he's going to come up here in just a few seconds. So, huge first down. Uh, Green Bay is going to get another uh, shot at the end zone, potentially. Uh, incompletion on the first pass on that next one. It's going to be second and 15. There's if five they need seconds a Hail Mary, you can't be telling me that they, they're going to get a Hail Mary because you don't get more than one a season. No, you don't. Because remember, yeah. Aaron Rodgers already got he's one against Detroit. Detroit that yeah. like helped him get into the playoffs. There's no way no. he's going to get a second one. No, 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 no. Let's see what happens. What happens? All right, their own four, no, the opponent 41. So he's got to throw it like Cardinal 41. At least second 40 15, yards. Five seconds. This is the game right here. No timeouts. And they're going to blitz, which I'm going to talk about here in a little bit. Why would you blitz anyone? <laughs> yeah, you don't blitz Aaron Rodgers because then. Okay. All right, so he's throwing back from his own 45. I can't do that. Oh, my God. Good Lord. I love I like that guy on the ground, like, no, no, I, like, shaking it out, like, no. I just love How many reaction. flashbacks Stop did it. Detroit Lions fans have? Yeah, seriously. Oh, like, yeah. Oh. Hey, here, here's, a, here's an idea. Let's have a football team that just centers around Hail Marys. We can call that them the Green Bay awesome. Packers. Yeah. They don't have to do anything all season but throw Hail Marys. That's basically what it was. You knew that when, like, you had this feeling that he might just pull it off again. And I'm sitting there watching this, and I'm thinking... Why are you blitzing? You don't blitz on that. I know it's Aaron Rodgers, and he can do crazy things out of the pocket with the football. Yeah. You don't send seven fucking guys. He gets, you know why? Because you get a matchup like that, yeah. and shit like that happens. So and, I didn't feel bad for uh, Arizona whatsoever. Aaron Rodgers gets like 100 times better outside the pocket. Yeah. And I think he gets even better as he's falling away. Twisting around, yeah. throwing the ball. Well, he's down throwing the off field. his back foot. You add on yeah. ten Seriously, more yards. <laughs> Somehow, go, yeah. Go, go try this. Like, just like go to an empty parking lot field, wherever. Go throw a football around with your buddies. Try and throw across your body, not like your normal way. How mm -hmm. you would throw across your body, falling down, falling down <laughs> off your back foot. See how far you can throw that. He threw, he threw it 60, 60 yards. 60 yards. That shouldn't be humanly possible. No. See, if you had cut those DBs, it wouldn't have made a difference. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he still caught the ball. So yeah. So <laughs> um, I, I was like, I couldn't believe this was happening. And then Cole, who's the biggest Cardinals fan on planet Earth. Right now, uh, we can, he, had, he had this reaction. <laughs> yeah, I'm also a Lions fan, so it's bitter. Uh, <laughs> a little bitter. We got some footage of Cole. Check this out. Oh, uh, look, uh, he's pointing at him. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Who's that? Is that Daniel laughing? How many beers deep is this? Not enough. <laughs> look at that slow motion. <laughs> Oh, that's so brutal when people are laughing in your awful. face. It was just absolutely bad. I'm All right. sorry, Cole. I'm worked sorry, out. Buddy. It worked out. But so, it would work Walt out because <laughs> this game gets even crazier. Check out what happens next. So we go to overtime. We're going to overtime. All right, so you got to do the coin flip again to decide who the, gets the ball. Now, remember, whoever gets the ball first, if they go down and they score a touchdown, the game is over. The if they do it on their first possession. Bullshit I have a NFL question. overtime. Yeah. I, I have a question. This. If you're a referee, what's the easiest part of your job? Flipping a coin. Yeah. 
Flipping a coin. Because you're not having to call anything else. Uh, the other team is calling it for you. Yeah. You're literally, yeah, you're flipping They call a it before you even flip it. Yeah. So you never yeah. really pay attention to you're that. Just flipping a coin. Yeah. yeah. Just, just, that's all you're doing. All right. So let's try and do that. We're going to flip the coin to see who's going to get the ball. All right. Here we go. Green Bay picks tails, and the coin did not flip. Look <laughs> how how do you even I do love, that? I love how the corners are like, it, it landed on heads. I look, I look at Rogers here. He's so pissed off. He's like, oh, I love, I love Carson Palmer's reaction. He's like, it was heads anyway. Why did we have to redo it? And then he walks off. And he was pissed after the game. He's like, I played the percentages. Like he's, he's like, I saw it was heads, so I was gonna call tails. Like. I can understand you being upset, but it's it's whatever. But seriously, learn how to flip a fucking yeah. coin. There's I, no rule against it either. He didn't have to go back and flip it. He ended up doing it just because he's a good guy. But yeah. there is no rule that he, really? he could just let it fly straight up and come down. Yeah. I don't like either. Think, <laughs> I don't think you could do that in space. He's going to lose. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. We should check that. We should see if this guy plays uh, tennis. This guy might be, he might be trying to point shave or something. Something, <laughs> something fishy is going on something here. Something fishy probably went on. I, I don't know. That, that was very interesting. So anyway. Weighted coin. Yeah. <laughs> Arizona's going to get uh, the ball. This is what they're going to do on their very first play. Very Hall first of Famer play. to Hall of Famer. All right. Their own 20. Oh, does Kurt Warner show up? <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop. Oh, nice little spin. Bumping your own guy. And is no one guarding that dude? Is no one guarding Punisher? Don't guard Fitzgerald. You get punished. Oh, oh little good night. Wow. He is insane. It was so, unbelievable. Fitzgerald goes this is for the, this is, 75 yards. This was the first play of the game I saw. I made, I made, it, to a, oh, I made it, it to a computer. I was actually at Carrie's house, and I said, Carrie, give me your laptop. i got to watch this game because <laughs> it's an overtime, and I want to see what happens. And then I saw that. I was like, cool. I saw what mattered. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody can believe, that was three straight plays, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's amazing. It was a fourth and 20. Was a hell mary to go to overtime. Was a then, coin toss. Then a coin toss <laughs> in that play. And then this is how the game was going to end. You got to go back to Larry, right? Of oh course, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. They what tried. They doing. tried one play incomplete to Larry, and then and then, then they got to think they're going to do it again. Yes. Here we go. Second goal on their own five or on the Green Bay five. A little shuffle pass. Too easy. Oh, game awesome. over. That was awesome. Game over. Larry deserves that too. He's such a good guy. Uh, that he really Sanders? Yeah. What the hell is that? <laughs> no, and, he, and he has one of those things, kind of like LT. Like you just want to see that guy. Yeah. Get a ring. And I mean, he's been close. Which, which Remember, LT? he was uh, Ladainian Tomlinson. Nah. Not. No, I'm not talking about LT. I don't care about Ladainian Tomlinson. <laughs> I wanted him to get a ring. I wanted. I didn't like. I don't like the Chargers. <laughs> We'll get into that. We'll get into that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we, don't move to LA. All right. So well, can we talk about the the way overtime works in the NFL? Yes, I, I know that you're you're upset about this. I okay, I, let's talk about this. I hate the way so the way the way it works in the NFL right now is whoever gets the ball first, if they go and score a touchdown, game over, that's it. Right. Mm -hmm. So the the opposing offense doesn't even get a chance to get back on the field. Correct. If they kick a field goal, then the opposing offense gets back on the field and they can try to either win or just tie it, and then it continues on. Next person who scores wins. Right. That's so stupid. It it's, is. It's better than the old system. It's though. better than the old it system. It is better yes. than the old system, yeah. This is, this, is the, this is the only way to exploit its biggest flaw, is scoring immediately yeah, on the first yeah. play. But no. that's when it's shitty. Now, Most of the time, the way this playoff or this overtime system has worked out has been much more fair. Yeah, it's, I, I don't know. I, I like the, the college style of overtime. Well, that's, where, yeah, that's the best. So yeah. everyone gets a chance to the ball. So the college system over overtime is you get your team gets the ball in the 25 or 35. It's it's 30. The, the, okay, the 30 yard line, and you get a chance to score a touchdown, yeah. and then then the opposing team gets to try to match you or or, or outscore you. And then it goes back and forth. Yeah, and the, unless you screw up, you're yeah. going to score. Yeah, yeah. Either you're going to no put some points thing. on the yeah. board. But then after the third one, you have to go. Do you have to go for you a touchdown? You have to go for two. And you have to go for two points. Yeah, yeah you have to go for so, two. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, it's, it's, it makes it a lot more fair, in my much opinion. More exciting. No, it's much more exciting. But could you imagine, and this is why I don't think they do it in the NFL, is because you couldn't do that with every team. Those games would never end. That was that'd be great. Short, I, yeah, I, I get it, but like short field, I don't think you can do pro, that. I mean, pro I football games last three thing. hours. I mean, they've got it down to a science. Yes. Where pro football lasts three well, you hours. You could it's, at least do it for brutal. the playoffs and just abandon yeah. that for the regular season. Keep there what you, you have so, right now. You can't we do that a, for the play. You can't do that for an NFL game. It would be crazy. Like here. the games would go way too long. We have a stat here. I, I agree. I think it's from ESPN. It says our latest win probability model estimates the recipient of the opening kickoff in overtime will win about 
53.8%. Yeah, yeah, of the time. I don't give it I don't give a shit about <laughs> any of that. Don't time. give me no, just don't time. Give me any of that. No, this I, it would be too long. Like I agree with you that they should have a new model for it, but I I don't think it should be like you get it on the 30. Okay, Start well, at the 50. Put, how about the 50 then? Like, maybe, maybe. Okay, yeah, so maybe. like put them out a field goal. Yeah, yeah, maybe the 50. It. Yeah. Not a football game at yeah. that point because yeah. you're not kicking it off. No, do a kickoff. Do do a kickoff every time. Do a kickoff both times. So yeah. you basically you're okay. If it's at and, the twenty, that's no a touchdown. No matter what, like, no matter what you're at the fifty. <laughs> yeah, just do it just because. <laughs> just kick off, yeah, yeah, something like that. All right. So anyway, anyways, I, I like to see it looked at. I like to see it worked on because that's just it's it's terrible. There's there's a lot of other things the NFL needs to figure out first. Like first, I need to figure out like what a catch is. Yeah, they still haven't yeah, figured out that. They have robots. a lot of other issues to figure out. But we'll they'll get to that eventually. So I'm with you though. I think they should change it. I just don't want it to be college. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's go to our final game because after this, I'm very excited because. Oh, Oh yeah, Barbara. Barbara's three and zero. Barbara the chicken is three and zero, and now she's catching noise, and everybody's starting to talk about this chicken who's getting these games right. Yeah. So we go to our final game. We're going to Denver. Denver Steelers. There's no shot for the Steelers in this game whatsoever, right? Like Big Ben is he's torn up. His, yep. his shoulder's shit. His throwing arm is done. Yeah, Antonio no Brown back. is out. Which by the way, Pac Man Jones, you have to apologize to Antonio Brown. Maybe he's just he faking so well. <laughs> yeah, they held him out. <laughs> he's waiting for next year. That's what he's gonna do. He's the long con. Antonio on uh, um Antonio. Oh my gosh, I'm like getting my words all messed up. Messed up. Use Jesus your words. Christ. Messed up. Am I having like a stroke right now? I don't know. A you small okay? toast. Do you need to here bite my wallet? Put this in your mouth and bite. <laughs> is, that what you, is that what you do? <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Well, wallets? when you have a seizure, you put you put a wallet. Oh, yeah. You put yeah. a wallet. This, this won't yeah, help. So you, you don't swallow do your this. tongue. Really? Or a belt? Yeah. So you don't. Bite We're your learning yeah. things today well, guess, on sports ball, uh, kids. Maybe like a wooden spoon. If a friend of yours starts having a yeah, seizure, what are you more likely to have around you? A wooden spoon or a wallet? Yeah. A leather wallet or a wooden spoon? No, you come to my house. You're sitting on that wallet though. Okay. Still, if it prevents you from choking on your own tongue, okay. I'll take a butt wallet yeah. over death. <laughs> Just saying. All right, so you're, you're <laughs> minus your best wide receiver. You're minus <laughs> one of your running backs because Le'Veon Bell's done. Like, this team should not have had a shot against the Broncos, but they did, and they were yeah. dominating this game for – they were ahead by a point. Dominating for the Steelers with nobody <laughs> on your team. Yeah, I would say they're doing pretty good against the Broncos. Yeah. Until it got to the fourth quarter where it's 13 to 12. Steelers are driving. They're in their own red zone. Like they're going to get this done. And then they fumble. They fumble, and Peyton does what Peyton does best. He leads them down the field for a drive that is as um, old as he is. It was a good God. It was like nine minutes long. It was insane. Yeah. And then they go on to win the ball game, yeah. which really upset me because Barbara <laughs> was going to be undefeated. Mm. It didn't happen that way. She had she had a passing how, grade though. She got seventy five percent. She got a passing grade, but I feel like there was something more there. Like I feel kind of like the tennis story that there was something more there that somebody maybe like got to the chicken oh. and like made <laughs> her change. Someone so influenced the chicken. She was on fire. Like she knew. Like she like without hesitation. Hesitation. Use your words today. She was <laughs> shitting on. She shit on Seattle like that. Get shit on. Uh, we'll like she didn't here. wait for the Chiefs. Like Get anybody. Like she had this thing. So like you know, I was wondering, was there anything going on fishy behind the scenes? And you know what? It happened to be the truth. Uh oh, we caught one of our own employees messing with the chicken. Was someone squeezing the chicken? Somebody uh, was squeezing the chicken. Did someone want to shit on the Broncos? Head? And we, we actually have footage uh -oh. of that. Oh no! That we're gonna play right now. It's shocking footage. Let's see this. Psst. Hey, Barbara, chicken, chicken. Hey, chicken. <laughs> hey how's it going? You like some seed? Oh, look at this! Look at this! Some delicious seed. Oh, that's good seed, right? Mm. Hey, I. I see, see you pick Steelers gonna lose. We don't want that, no. We don't, remember that time I gave you seed? That was really good seed. I, it was just now. Chickens don't have that bad of memory, but maybe this will help you remember. Ooh, look at that. That's a cold $60. This isn't for you. You poop on Peyton Manning's face. I don't like it. He's got a huge forehead. It's a target zone. Keep that in mind. This could be yours. <laughs> I like that he has to wear a jacket to be shady. I know. Yeah. <laughs> like he's got he's got the jacket on, so it's like, oh, okay, clearly something's wrong with this guy. Yeah. And also, I like that I we have the perspective guy. of Barbara. Does she have a camera in her? <laughs> well, actually, you know, we we uh, we equipped her with some uh, spyware because we just mm. didn't know like if anybody uh, was going to mess with her. Cult. Chickens are not a little so fishy. I am, thought it was a little weird. I'm ashamed. <laughs> a little, ashamed that you did that. A little chicken Google Glass going on there. Or yeah, something like fact, that. yeah, that's what <laughs> we'd always do. <laughs> up with that. 
We put the spy glasses on her just in case anything shady was going down. That's the first chicken I've ever seen with glasses on. So That's a smart looking chicken right there. It's unbelievable. So that's why Barbara didn't go 4-0. Hmm. And I mean, she she would have been the toast of the town. Instead, she's three and one. The but cock of the walk, is they the say. The cock of the walk. <laughs> Get she, it? But she was uh, it? she was no. three and one. That was really good, though. I mean, she did pretty good for her first time. So Barbara's going to come on the show later, and she's going to make oh, one shit, of, really? she's going to make one of the picks today. All right, she's going to make another pick. I later. need to add her to the list. I'll add her to the spreadsheet. Please do. She's going to do something like that. All right. So uh, I don't have any more ad reads right here. So I think we can get to the segment I'm really looking forward to. What's oh, that? Boy. This is going to be fun. So I was talking to Jordan yesterday, um, and we were we were talking about kind of like uh, what's going on in L.A. right now between uh, the Chargers, uh, the Raiders, uh-huh. and then the Rams. I'm just and watching. Of course, you know the Rams are moving to L.A. They're moving back to L.A. Yeah, Rams. even St. Louis. Yeah. Um, and so there's questions like, what are the Chargers going to do? Um, and kind of the odd man out in this um, um, are the Raiders. They're looking for a new home. And so it was always kind of a myth that San Antonio could be a place. They, Oakland had actually I used... Myth. Like, well, I mean, it's, it's an option. Well, I don't San know if Antonio, right word. Like, the, the Raiders have admitted to using San Antonio as a bargaining chip oh. to try and get a better deal with well, L.A. I mean, when New Orleans was there, New Orleans played in, in San Antonio uh-huh. when the, the Superdome was underwater. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it makes sense. They've, they've shown that they can handle it, so... Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll, I mean, we're going to see if that happens, but talking to Jordan, Jordan just does not think that's going to happen. Yeah, I think that's pretty unrealistic that there would be another team in Texas. Yeah, you said it would never, Texas, ever happen. Biggest, nope. biggest state. Biggest never state happen. In the like US, four in, the in California? California? That makes sense. What was that? Like four in oh, California? What's, what's the most populous state in the country? Oh, what? Wyoming. Is it, is it California? There's yeah. three in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> There's three in Florida. That's true. Um, all right, so nothing but old people there. That's the armpit of the United States. I was talking yeah. to another it's all that cocaine. America's man. Wang. <laughs> yeah, another buddy of ours uh, who's been on the show before, and he thinks the complete opposite of Jordan. He thinks that it is going to happen. Oh shit! Not that, not like it might, but like it's going to happen. Uh oh. So okay. I figure we'd bring this gentleman out. Oh here, I give me a swap out here, Brandon. Um, well, yeah, we'll kind of we'll we'll here. scoot over a little bit. Which oh, side we do we want him on. We want him on this side. <laughs> This sign? All right. I'm going to get closer to you, okay. Jordan. I'll protect you from Brandon. So Brandon basically, has props in that what's going to happen <laughs> is uh, we're going to let these two know. guys kind of have at it and oh, decide. All of, all of you. All oh, of Jesus us, Christ. Get to kind of decide who, who's <laughs> right think, or wrong in this discussion. I just realized I know where this is coming from. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a chair. Well, that's, yeah, it's a mic. Don't it's sit on that. That's a microphone. Hey, Brandon, what's going on? <laughs> hey. What are you doing? Your, your stool is a here, lot here, shorter. Here, take, take, oh, take my this. Knees. Jesus Christ. Sit on why, this. Why are you sitting on your knees you like sit that? sit on this? No, I got it. All right, I'm Brandon. I'm so comfortable right here. Hello, Jordan. <laughs> Do you want a new team in this area so you don't have to root for the Texans anymore? Is that what's going on here? Oh. Because I think I just put that together. <laughs> I love the Texans, and I will always be a Texans fan. What I will say is I miss NFL football so much. So if the Raiders were here... I would go to the games, and well, I'd be a Raider fan. But I will say, right, that on, has wait, nothing wait, to do with the When you say here, you time mean out. not in Austin. Yeah, you mean 70 miles right, south. Well, well I think the more... Hold on for the fight, boys. <laughs> hold on. We're going to give each one of you a chance to discuss this. Okay, I'll go first. You will, Okay, Jordan's going to go first. <laughs> so Coin what we're going to do, Jordan, you have one minute. <sighs> I, don't, I don't need that much time. You have, <laughs> <laughs> you have one minute to argue. Uh, against it, Brandon, you'll get one minute to argue for. All right, so Jordan, let's put the timer gonna, up for Jordan. I'm going to take your first argument away right now and say... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get the timer up there. There hey. we go, go. I'm going to take your first argument away right now and say it's a dumb reason to think that just because they're the same colors as the Spurs, it's a good fit. You've said that in the past. Don't, uh, nah. Don't make that no. face. Um, there's no way Jerry Jones would allow another team in Texas to take away from you know, anyone liking the Cowboys. He's allowed the Houston Texans to exist long enough. So there's no there's no reason for him to, you know what are you doing? What are you writing now? I'm taking the- oh, okay, so Jerry Jones will never vote for this. And he'll you know, he's got enough pull with all the other owners that they won't allow it to happen either. No one cares about football in San Antonio. No one cares about San Antonio. Mm. San Antonio would never vote for a stadium to be built. And even if, I know this is your argument too, San Marcos in between, in between Austin and San Antonio getting a stadium so that it's like a New England type deal where it's in between like Rhode Island and, okay, good. All right, let's yeah. put a timer uh, wait, up for a minute. No, your last, time is up. Yeah. Your time is up. Last, no, last your point. time's up. Your time's up. Can, Jack can, can I, say can something. Can I real quickly yeah. point you're, out? You're dumb. 
Uh, Brandon's shoulder pads are on backwards, by the way. <laughs> I, it was so, dramatic effect. He, I had to get these on quickly. Brandon no, but played see, football. Look, you don't get the if these aren't in the front. You don't get yeah, the full well, back. They, they're supposed. To, okay. <laughs> All right. Can we put a minute up for Brandon? Brandon, your rebuttal, sir. Go. So Jerry Jones is on record in saying he would not have anything against a team in San Antonio back in 2010 he when the Saints that. were there. Second, Jerry Jones is a billionaire. Yeah, he has a lot of pull, but the NFL is full of other billionaires. Mm -hmm. Billionaires didn't get rich just giving up. Mm -hmm. The fact is, if there is a stadium plan in place in the San Antonio area, the NFL will vote for it because Oakland has nowhere else to go. So is San Marcos and New Braunfels unrealistic? Yes. What about Glendale in Arizona? Ooh. What about uh, Santa Clara in California? What about Arlington in the Dallas-Fort Worth area? They Those built are all two in stadiums. metropolitan areas. They're in between two big metropolitan areas. And in Santa Clara's uh, scenarios, they are 40 miles away. Santa Clara is a city based, built on technology and billions of dollars. That has nothing to do with it. The point is that small <laughs> okay, towns uh, see the reason to do sorry, I thought you said finance these then. things. And the San Antonio and Austin area, you're talking about markets that are in the top 20. 25 or top 30, top 40 metropolitan areas. And there are tons of Cowboys fans in San Antonio because people in San Antonio like football. Mm -hmm. There's already an audience there for it. Oh, so they already have a team. They like the Cowboys. Okay. Yeah, but they have Ooh. to like somebody <laughs> if they're fans. Would it be better if they didn't like anybody and we're going to put a team in a place where there are no football fans? Uh, I mean... They're in Oakland, so. <laughs> <laughs> and they're trying to get out. Let me ask you That's this. The <laughs> if the Raiders do not go to San Antonio, Austin, that region, where do you think their best option is? Uh, I don't know. I just feel like the, the Raiders are screwed no matter what they do. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know you, mentioned, you mentioned Las Vegas. That'd be Vegas is cool. The issue is the NFL like willing yeah. to let that happen. I think I think, I think, cool. I think the NFL would not let any team go to Vegas just because yeah. it's too heavily associated with I gambling. I hear St. Louis needs a team now. Yeah, <laughs> I hear London's looking for a team or Montreal. Oh I think my god, Portland's or another Toronto. team that was thrown around, but with Seattle doing so well, it's hard to see Portland really caring about getting a team. Yeah. But St. Louis, St. Louis is getting the Houston treatment. The NFL said "f you" to Houston. They sent "f you" to St. Louis. It'll be a long time before anybody comes back to St. Louis. They will have to have a stadium ready to, like, shovel. I think it'll be longer before San Antonio gets a team. You think St. Wow. Louis will get a team before San Antonio? Yeah. Then some fighting words. We should, we, should make like some, we should make some wagers on this thing, I'm, we, we I'm should. thinking. We should. Well, I want to know yeah, what know everybody's thinking about who, uh, <laughs> They do a lot of betting on tennis. I know a guy who, who bribes chickens. We can talk to <laughs> yeah, him about getting some money. Just talk to our man Cole. <laughs> <laughs> who wants to bribe? I need Peyton. 60 ducks. 60 ducks? 60 ducks. <laughs> yeah, paying chickens. <laughs> Like, All right. So, this is actually something we've been arguing about <laughs> for about three or four months <laughs> since, like, we went to that Houston Texans game and they lost to the Colts. Um, and before, you know, before the vote happened, I was thinking it seemed pretty unlikely. Now it's they got nowhere to go. So I don't know what's going to happen to the Raiders. Yeah. I, unless I don't. Oakland doesn't want to pay for a new stadium. Oakland they, said they won't. I don't think they're going to move to Santa Clara with the 49ers because that, that seems like fans, a good option. They are not going to drive an hour. Can you imagine taking this into a bus <laughs> and going an hour down? I, a Santa I, can, Clara imagine, I can imagine Oakland fans doing that. Absolutely. No, <laughs> yeah. I cannot. They're kind of crazy. See them traveling they are kind of crazy. What's weird to me is that, you know, <clears throat> the Raiders actually belong in L.A., and they didn't get the LA, the LA <laughs> <Yeah>. deal. <laughs> they said, I don't know what's going to happen with they're that. Just getting, they're just getting interesting. Why do you think? Because they won a Super Bowl there? Or? Because everyone in LA is a Raiders fan. <laughs> yeah. I thought all the polls were showing that they wanted the Rams to come back. I mean, the Rams were there since, like, what, 1953? That's nostalgia. I've never met a Rams fan in LA. <laughs> I thought you were a Rams fan as of a week ago. Oh, yeah. Well, that's retroactive. So that's oh, okay. Retroactive. <laughs> I would, I would, personally, I would love to see a team pop up somewhere between Austin and San Antonio. It would be nice to have a pro team that's not three hours away driving, you know. So we have UT here in Austin, so I don't imagine Austin will ever get a pro team, but I could absolutely see one popping up in New Braunfels or San Marcos, somewhere halfway between here and San Antonio. Hell, even North San Antonio, like Rotama Park area. So Yeah, that, that would be a nice place for it to be in San Antonio. For any of you who are not familiar with the city, like, like the Alamo down. You, you don't want to go anywhere like into San Antonio. That would yeah. be a nightmare. Or yeah. around San Antonio. Around. That's why I think New Braunfels is safe. You don't have to get close well, to the city. You don't have to sell it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe outside of New Braunfels. I don't want to next to Slitterbond like the like. No, no, that's the perfect plan. Dude. You can take the slide 
from the top of Schlitterbahn Would into that be the, the like stadium. A backdrop. What, that what, is my dream. What if it's like Schlitterbahn what if it's like, Raiders? The Schlitterbahn what if it's like Raiders. the Giants Park, where like you have, you know, they have the water on the outside of the field. You yeah. know, like you could have like a tubing thing go right they through should go by the river. Yeah, you go do it right by the river. You can have tubing. Like you could go Tube like into the no, stands. No, yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, no. That'd be great. Like up the glass pads. Put it, you could tube pass it, it. Look at the game through the field. Yeah, through midfield. That'd and be great. like, exactly. yeah, they'll have to go. They could have a tube shoot. Like, <laughs> like, you could have a water slide starting somewhere at like the top of the stands and end up on the. You 50. know that that shitty pool the Jacksonville Stadium has. <laughs> yeah. like, top, the, top that with the the river going <laughs> through the stadium. But that's right, spiked you know what? shoulder Based pads on that? would puncture the tubes. Huh? The spiked shoulder pads would puncture the inner tubes. Well, you gotta you that's have a rubber one. Life is tough. Or get yeah. stuck yeah. in the water slide. It's right. tough being a Raiders fan. We've established that. I think Brandon won because I want tubes in a stadium down in New Braunfels. That is a great yeah. idea. Yeah. That's a great there idea. Brandon, you did good. You won. I want to see some concepts of that. Let's get on this. You did Let's great. Get, we've got a, a bunch of talented fans out there. Let's see some uh, some yeah. stadiums Design with some, yeah, some, uh, some, some nice water renderings. slides inside of it and some like tubing areas. That'd be great. That'd be good. Any yeah. any last words? I I don't think the Raiders are going to move to San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Wow. Jesus I'm Christ. I'm just glad you finally admitted it. Unbelievable. So oh, that's does that mean that mean I that means I, I gotta move right? to Oregon or something? Ooh, I like it. We do have Sean McGregor on Twitter at Xbox Pit is saying the biggest fan base for Oakland outside of our biggest fan for the Raiders outside of Oakland is London. Ooh, so, I don't buy that yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't buy that whatsoever. Uh, that's does that guy have a source on that? <laughs> <laughs> Big turnout Did for Al the Wembley game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Brandon, for uh, hopping on the show. Appreciate it, buddy. That was good. Peter um, Hayes on Twitter like says, uh, "My good, quaint yeah. small Irish village is looking for a team." <laughs> so, there you go. There Moved you to go. Ireland. So yeah, why not? Yeah. We'll speaking see, we'll speaking see of happens. shitty San Antonio, come see me at Pack South in two weeks. Hey! <laughs> George will be packed up. <laughs> hmm. I'll be in Vegas that week. <laughs> sorry, so, sorry, just bashed your city. San Antonio <laughs> is lovely. Hey, you're, you're better than Dallas. How about that? Would we say that's oh, yeah, fair? Yeah, better yeah. than Dallas? Yeah. Anything's yeah. better than Dallas. Just because you're closer. And Houston. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Houston out of that. Houston's I kind of like Houston. Houston's o- okay for me. So, um, what? Houston's the armpit of Texas. No, it's not. That's yeah. El Paso. Yeah, El Paso. Yes. Let's just oh, shit on move, the rest of Texas. Let's El Paso. Yeah, we should just do that. Okay, no, that's so the El Paso Raiders. El Paso is the armpit. <laughs> I, I would say it's Waco. Too, too many easy jokes there. <laughs> Waco or College Station is the butthole. One of those. No, two College towns. Station. Waco's not bad. No, exciting. Are thing. you kidding me, Jared? Remember that the is shootout? the shittiest city in Texas. College, outside of College Station. You went to Waco. You met a lot of nice people there, right? Yeah, when you were there nice, for sports ball. Yes, there are nice people in Waco, but that well, is. That's the thing. College there's, Station that's, can't be the butthole because exciting things happen in buttholes. <laughs> 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 All right. Thanks, Andy. There's your title for the episode. <laughs> that's that's excellent. That's great. Yes. Basically, we're saying everywhere in Texas sucks except for Austin. Yeah, that's usually the, the case. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. So thank you, that's, new fans who have tuned in today. <laughs> I've never seen Texans, the show before. Yeah. This is basically what happens once a week. I yeah, hope we, you uh, come back next time. Yeah, we find a way to done, shit though. on somebody. So, anyways, we like to take this sometimes time literally the, with the chicken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, we're gonna do a new segment today. Uh, fan mail. Want to get fan mail. Uh, some fan mail on the show? So we started that yesterday. Asked you guys to get in whatever type of question you want. It doesn't have to be a sports question. It can be anything. It's something about Jack, myself, Jordan, whoever's on the show, or just, I mean, just life in general. Any, any question you want to ask or anything you want to say. So I have some, uh, I got some fan mail here. Man, we're, I hope we get some soccer questions. <laughs> well, no. Um, <laughs> we're not going to be getting that. Um, so one was, uh, can you talk about the Warriors absolutely destroying the Cavs? We already got that one Got that one earlier, so we talk about that. Uh, this one says, uh, my mom wants to know how Joel keeps himself looking so young. Jack, do you know the answer to that question? Uh, it's the blood of virgins. Blood of virgins. That's what keeps Joel is so young. Metaphorically, like, why do you think he went to Australia? He's they're keep, they're watching him now here. So, blood of virgins. Joel is a sick fuck. That is that is true. <laughs> very, very true. Yes. Are you saying there's a lot of virgins in Australia? Yeah, I don't. Know. No, I'm, yeah, saying, I'm saying they're watching him right now. That's oh, the problem. Okay. He's got to get out of the country. List. Who the virgins? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this one's a, this is a good one. I like this one. Yes. Uh, no, Joel does not. 
he doesn't do bad things with virgins. Um, <laughs> I mean, he might. I don't know. Quick Just disclaimer. their blood. I'm sure he has. Next one. Right. Next one. Uh, in uh, the sports ball crew's opinion, what do y'all think are the coolest team names? Number one. And number two, athlete nicknames in sports. Oh, gosh. I mean, Megatron's a pretty great nickname. Megatron's for Calvin badass. Johnson's. Yeah. I like um, this one. He uh, Hate Me? He Hate Me is a good nickname. Me. The Big Unit. Beast Big Mode. Unit. Big Poppy. Beast Mode. Beast Mode is pretty good. Big Time Timmy Jim. <laughs> Big Time Timmy Jim? <laughs> yeah, Tim Lincecum. What was that? I don't remember that commercial. That Sports Center <laughs> no, commercial. <I> don't. <laughs> <laughs> Big oh, Time like Timmy ben Jim. Ben Wallace. You remember that one? I like the Red no. Rider. BB gun? The Red, Red Rider. Rider. Uh, uh, the mailman. Call uh, was it uh, Grandmama? Was that one back in the day? Grandma like the old basketball, basketball player? There's Anyone? Pistol Pete. All right, yeah, there we go. Pistol Pete. Pistol Pete was a good one. Mean Joe Green. Mean Joe Green. That was a really good one. There Black you go. Mamba. Clyde the Glide Black is Mamba. a pretty great Black one. Black Mamba. Clyde the Glide. Drexler yep. was a great one. Dr. J. Primetime. Prime time. We're just throwing out names at this point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look, look at our knowledge. Basically, I will tell you, my favorite team name, though, is a college team in yep. Kansas. It's the Shockers. The Shockers? <laughs> yeah. They got the coolest fucking team I see. name. It's awesome. Because <laughs> everybody at the school, they, they're like in on it. They yeah, 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 yeah. They know that their their team name is, you know, one in the pink, two in the stink. It's based off of a, a college humor pink, joke. One in the stink. Um, you go either way. <laughs> I like the Both Pan- are Shockers. I like, I like the Panthers, honestly. Like, that's a cool name for a team. Carolina, Florida, like, whichever yeah. Panthers you want to get. That's a cool name. Here's not a cool team name. Um, like, anything that Zips. is, like, the... <laughs> <laughs> like the Bears, like too mm. many teams are the Bears. Like Mount, everybody is Wild the Bears. Wildcats, that's a pretty bad. Name. Colin Vale on Wild Twitter. Wildcats are really bad too. Colin Vale on Twitter said, "Round mound of rebound." That's Charles Barkley. Yeah, <laughs> so, there you go. that's a good one. The thing about that's the Bears, one. there's the Chicago Bears. You got the Bruins. Mm-hmm. Uh, the like Old Miss are the Bears, which is the stupidest thing ever. Yep. Like everybody's Baylor. a fucking bear. Baylor, Baylor's, Baylor. Baylor's, Baylor's a Baylor. bear. Montana's a bear. Chicago has the Cubs. That's like baby bears. There, yeah. There's more bears. <laughs> They can't, they can't escape the Bears. They can't escape the Bears, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, those are some of our favorite team names. So isn't that nice? That's nice. All right, That's what's nice. the next one? We have more, more fan we mail. We have one that says, can we get a sports ball Let's Play anytime oh, in the yeah. future? That'd be fun. We should do something like that. We should like do that. something like that. Maybe, I, don't, I know you guys do something for uh, uh, the Super Bowl with AH, yeah, which is yeah. always a lot of fun. We predicted the Super Bowl. We got it right, like, five out of the last seven years or something like that. Really? Yeah, we've done pretty well with it. I'm excited so, to see who it's going to be. I mean, Barbara's going to show us who is yeah. going to be in the Super Bowl. Barbara will be picking. A little bit, but yeah, we can do something like that. So that's all the fan mail we got for today. I wish we had like a little choo-choo train, kind of like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> was that a Ezekiel, Ezra, Ezra Meldo's castle? What was that, Mariel? What? Sarika's castle. Eureka's. Eureka's castle. Eureka. I couldn't remember Zerikiel's the name. Sarika's castle. Was that, that was that the was one too with the train. Didn't they have a little train guy who oh, brought know. the mail? I just know the name of the show. I okay. don't watch it. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Lamb chop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do a fuck you, Tyler. Let's this do it. Let's do it. I fucking hate you, Tyler Poe. I hope you and that fucking chicken fucking deserve each other. Fuck the chicken and fuck you. Good game, Arizona. I'm sad my team lost, but that was one of the best games I've ever watched. I'll be cheering for you guys to win the Super Bowl. The Green Bay Packers lose to the Cardinals. Fuck Cardinals and fuck you, Tyler. <laughs> Hey guys, even though I'm a Packers fan, you know, I'm I'm still okay with it because after all, the chicken did say that we were going to lose, so got to trust the chicken. Bye. Oh. Tyler, I'm not here to say fuck you. I'm here to say I love you. Unless you pick the Shockers, the Sooners, or the Cowboys, in which case, fuck you, you horse fucking midget tosser. <laughs> Hello? Oh wait, this is a message, isn't it? God damn it. Horse. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, first off, sorry for the fuck you last week, Jack. I didn't think Tyler was on the show. I apologize. Australia loves you. You're practically an Australian married one. Secondly, you all need to learn just a little bit about fucking cricket. It's just really painful listening to you destroy it with baseball terms. Also, fuck you, Tyler, you fucking cut. <laughs> fuck you, chicken. Pete man, he is the shit. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, this fucking Packers Cardinals game is fucking ridiculous. Aaron Rodgers is Jesus, but Larry Fitzgerald is God. <laughs> Two fucking Hail Marys, and Rodgers still can't beat the Cardinals? Fuck yes. Fuck you, Tyler Coe. <laughs> oh, Tyler Coe, it's been eight days, we're still champions, and you're still a pissed off little midget man. Roll <laughs> down and fuck you. Uh, yes, this is Eduardo. Um, yeah, Eduardo had placed some bets on Jack Piccolo's... <laughs> Picks and uh, Eduardo needs answers from Jack as to why they did not work out. Uh, that is all. 
Eduardo needs answers. <laughs> Eduardo needs answers. Yeah, we haven't heard from Eduardo <laughs> yeah. in a while. Wow, it's been that was, a while. That was, there were some positive ones in there. And there were some positive ones. That was good. It's a very hearted one. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, Eduardo needs answers. Should we move on? Yeah, we got to get to our pit low picks. Uh, All right. Jordan uh, and viewers who are first time viewers, mm-hmm. this is where we uh, do picks uh, Pick for the upcoming five games week. from all um, around the world. Now, it seemed like Eduardo was upset with you. Can you tell people why? He All right, so last week, uh, we had three people pick the exact same five picks, <laughs> and then uh, Cole and me picked a couple different ones. I ended up doing the worst for the week at three and two. Yes, so you let's did. Say that, three and two for the worst. Not bad. Uh, Cole was right behind me with four and one. Damn chicken. And the, for the first time <laughs> ever... We had three people go perfect. We had we had Tyler, Joel, and Nick all go perfect. So yeah. congratulations, you guys all picked it correct. And uh, I I am surprised that the the Packers and the Steelers lost those games. You, yeah, we have to. Well, we got to come up with something that's going to happen to you, or that something happens to the loser. Because oh, we that's had right. We were, ta- we were talking that. about that. So I, I've let Eduardo. Uh oh. Figure out what that's going to be. Okay. Which is probably worse for you. Like you'd probably rather me do that. Yeah. Than him. Yeah, so it's kind true. of up to him because he was the winner this week. Uh, well, a three-way and, tie and seniority and the fact with the virgin. Well, he is thing. he is a senior, like the virgin blood, the sure. senior senior virgin blood. <laughs> plus, he got all the picks right, so he gets to decide what's going to happen all right. next week. All right, we'll figure that out next week, and I'm sure we'll have a new a new loser next week as well. Yes. So anyway, uh, so this week we've got five games. We have got the two NFL games, and I got some other ones kind of scattered about. So uh, should we start with the NFL or should we yeah. end with the NFL? Let's um. Let's end with the NFL. Let's How about that? Let's end with the NFL. We'll let Jordan start because he's our guest. All right. So we got first up, we got the Clippers versus the Cavs. It's number four in the West versus number one in the East. The uh, Cavs coming off a rough loss versus Golden State. Mm. Now they're playing against the uh, the Clippers this week. They're going to be playing in Cleveland again, but that didn't help uh, help them last game. So who do you, who are you thinking is yeah. going to take this one? Jordan? It may not have helped them last game, but what helps them this time is that they're playing the Clippers. So <laughs> <laughs> I think I, it seems pretty obvious that, that All right. Cleveland will rebound and beat them. All right, I'm thinking the Cavs are going to take this one as well. I don't think they got the uh, the lost magic in them. I think they're going to win this one. Tyler, who you got? I don't know, man. Timothy and <laughs> Delhi. I, I don't know. J.R. Smith, he got bounced. They just look so bad. I, I feel like if uh, Golden State was able to rain down threes, just watching Lob City do it last night. Yep. I'm going. I gotta go Clips. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Clippers. Clippers. Lo- it is. Lob City is that an expansion team? Yes. <laughs> 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 All right, let's hear from uh, let's hear from the guys over the side. Cole, uh, and Nick, give me Clipper. Clippers, Clippers. I'm not, I'm not taking the Cavs. I'll go with the Cavs bouncing back. Nick says the Cavs. All right, Clippers and Cavs. All right, so up next we've got a hockey game because you guys love your hockey's. We've got uh, Chicago Blackhawks versus the Florida Panthers. There are four divisions in the well. There's the East and, and South. I don't know whatever. There's two divisions and then four breakdowns between that. They're both number ones and they're separate things in their conference. So we got the Chicago Blackhawks versus the Florida Panthers. Number ones facing off. I'm going Blackhawks. Can't go wrong with Chicago. Is this there's the no fir- ice in Florida. Is this the first time the Florida Panthers have been good? I I don't know. Is it? No. Mm. There's a uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Tampa, Tampa did good last year. They went to the uh, Stanley Cup Finals. Right, Tampa right. Bay Lightning. Right. The Carolina Panthers are not <laughs> in <laughs> hockey. <laughs> yeah, the, the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, Cam Newton doesn't. He has a good slap shot, yeah. but uh, um, could have some issues with that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll, I'm gonna go with the Blackhawks. Blackhawks, it is. Tyler, they won last time. Yeah, right? it's like one of five teams I know, so I'm picking Chicago. <laughs> the Blackhawks, it is. How about those boys on the side? Uh, Blackhawks, they're destroying them in like every stat. So nice, Nick. Florida is America's Wang, so Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blackhawks across the board on this one. All right, next up, this one is for Jordan. You love your soccer, don't you, Jordan? Yeah. <laughs> or football, if you're yeah. in, if you're in England. So we got a Premier League game. <laughs> we got Crystal Palace versus Tottenham Hotspur. Why this game? Because <laughs> it's because that's Gus's team. Is Gus, Crystal Gus Palace is... a real place? Yeah, oh, I yeah. thought that was a place in Disney World where you go eat with Winnie the Pooh. That actually that's that, why they're named that. It's actually oh, yeah, okay. that is that, that's a real thing. That's Crystal why Palace. not Chelsea versus Arsenal? Are they playing this weekend? Yeah. Oh shit! Let's do that instead. What? Chelsea. I kind of would have picked a place with the no, Winnie the Pooh. No, I'll pick Palace. All right, all right, let's do that. Crystal Palace. So yeah, Tot- <laughs> Tottenham's. Uh, I think they're in fourth place, or is that Everton? Am I getting them mixed up? They're yeah. like the same colors. So um, I'm gonna pick not Crystal Palace. All right, because so- they really suck. Um, and Gus was wrong to pick them as his favorite team. I'm going Crystal Palace because I like them and I like Winnie the Pooh. 
I also think Chelsea will beat Arsenal. Oh, okay. Surprise upset. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Chelsea for you as well. <laughs> just to throw it on. Yeah, top. Just, just yeah, just on top of there as <laughs> well. Perfect. All right, Tyler, you got you got Hotspur or the Palace. I'm taking the 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 Tottenham's. Tottenham. Hotspur. The, the hot Tottenham's. All right, boys, what you got? I'll take Tottenham. Tottenham. I heard the word Spurs. I'll go with them. Tottenham. <laughs> all right. Now we're moving on to what you've all been waiting for. We got some NH- or NFL games. We've got the uh, East and the West. We'll start out with the Patriots versus the Broncos. New England is favored by three right now. They're mm. going to be playing in Denver, which yeah. is pretty impressive. Yeah, it's hard. You know, Peyton Manning, he's pretty old. Peyton Manning is getting pretty old. Tom Brady, he's like, you know, he's probably the best. Tom Br- isn't Tom Brady like one year younger than Peyton Manning? Yeah, but he doesn't look as old. <laughs> so, so dreamy. Well, one of them Waterford is sleeping is. with Giselle. So one look, is not. It's hard. It's hard to pick against the Patriots. You mm-hmm. know, they got they had a great season. Um, they went to the Super Bowl last year. They always find a way to win. They got the best coach. Broncos have been struggling. Peyton Manning isn't 100 percent healthy. So I'm going to pick Denver. All right, picking Denver, picking the Broncos. <laughs> I can't pick the Patriots. <laughs> I, I will be picking the Patriots on this one because I think they are going to just blow them out of the water. I am too because they represent everything about America. They're they're good looking, they're brash, and they cheat all the fucking and time. Everyone, and that's why and everyone else watch. hates them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm totally rolling Patriots I like on this it. one. Boys on the side, who you got? Patriots or Broncos? So I don't like cheaters. <laughs> so I'm going with the Patriots. I don't all want right. a cheating quarterback to make it to the Super Bowl. Ooh. I like it. No steroids. No we're steroids gonna, in this game. We're gonna fight after this. <laughs> nice. So you know. Handsome Tom and those balls are. And perfect. that one, I've got Jordan. Yeah, I've got Jordan in that fight between. Nick is, uh, <laughs> I'll Patriots. take Jordan as well. Nick is going for the Patriots as well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. And then we got last up. Uh, we've got the Cardinals at the Panthers. Right now, Carolina is favored by three points. I, I don't see how you go against Carolina in this hmm. one. I'm taking the Panthers. Uh, yeah, Florida Panthers all the way. There you go. Florida Panthers all the way. Uh, yeah, I called this back at the beginning of the season before anybody else did. I thought this was going to be a rematch of 2004, the Super Bowl between the Panthers and the Patriots, where Adam Vinatieri would eventually, you know, kick a game-winning field goal. Yeah, but I, now he plays for the Colts. Now he plays for the Colts, not doing jack shit. And sitting <laughs> home. Yeah, I'm but, going know. with the Panthers. All right, boys on the side. I think you all know what the correct answer is. The Cardinals are going to win the Super Bowl. All right. So they have to win this game in order to win the Super Bowl because the Panthers are going to get ahead and then lose it all. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Carson Nick. Palmer only finds the other team in the end zone, so I'm going with the Panthers. Ooh. Or the red zone, I should say. Fun fact, a third of his games have ended with his knee being broken oh. in the playoffs. <laughs> That's cold. Actually, I do have That's brutal. This, is the, this is actually the uh. first game, the first ever playoff game that has two Eisman winning quarterbacks. That's no, true. That is true. That's that true. is very true. That's the storyline is only won his be first great. playoff game ever last week. Wow. Yeah. All right. That's interesting. I did not know that. I didn't right. either. So uh, we also have one extra person to pick a game, don't we? We do, and she's going to pick that game right now. Barbara the Chicken is going to appear the on the show. Uh, she's going to tell you who Gosh. she picked for one of the games. And then you're going to get the the uh, other pick when we release this on Thursday. So oh, okay. you're getting a little bit of... So if you're watching live, sponsors, yes. you know that we love you. You are our lifeblood. Enjoy Barbara shitting on someone. Shit on Brady. Do it. Barbara picked Arizona to lose, Fucking which chicken. validates everybody that picked Carolina. <laughs> all right, and the same. Everyone Bar- who doesn't have all their eggs in a basket, no pun intended. <laughs> oh, on that Boo! note, Jordan, <laughs> thank you for joining us here on Sports Ball. No really problem. appreciate it, man. It was Thanks a lot for of fun. Me. Uh, Had a good time. Thanks, uh, boys on the side, Jack, as always. Uh, as always, it's a blast. Thank uh, you for having me. Yes, sir. I love you so much. Thank you for being on the show. Oh, God. <laughs> what does that mean? You're just my mainstay. Oh, no. My main something, side something bad is about main to happen. Oh, no, no. Nothing bad's going to happen Oh, to God Jack. damn it. I just, just much love, brother. So that's it. And uh, we love you guys as well. Thanks for another. Uh, uh, thanks for tuning in to another edition of Sports Ball. We'll see you guys next week. Steal a football rule. And, ah! <laughs> 
how the fuck are the Packers going to lose after Aaron Rodgers for the goddamn Hail Mary and fucking Larry Fitzgerald and his 87-year-old ass has to get an 80-fucking-yard pass on the first play? Fuck him. Fuck everything. Tyler Coe, thank you for picking the Panthers because guess what? I know you don't have a curse, but I fucking swear. If you pick the Panthers and they don't win the Super Bowl or they lose soon, I'm going to leave you a fucking message that you're going to fucking love.